Hello, my name is Rich. I use the he, him pronouns, and you're watching my YouTube channel where I play amazing tabletop role-playing games with friends. It's Saturday here as we play on April 20th of the, the year of our Lord, 2024, or at least in the calendar that I use. And we are playing Star Wars Saturdays uh, and a, a quarterly that is uh, going to bleed over to a little more than a quarter game of fellowship set in Star Wars. Because Star Wars Saturdays is where I take lots of different RPGs and uh, reskin them or hack them or just say, hey, guess what? This is now set in Star Wars. Uh, and we are coming up upon a couple of very exciting um, achievements. Look, one's an event, one's an achievement. My achievement part, I'll do that because it's less interesting uh, or less momentous. I am now sitting at 99 different RPGs that I have played or run, uh, played in or run, that are set in Star Wars that are not officially licensed Star Wars RPGs, 99. And I'm excited because the 100th will, uh, unless I'm hit by a truck, will happen during the Star Wars Saturdays. So Star Wars May the 4th be with you, Minicon which is coming up in less than two weeks as you watch this, because I'm going to try my best to get this up. Uh, this being the video up, meaning on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. Uh, all those pronouns are now clarified. Star Wars Minicon, um, if you are interested in such a thing, I will stick a link to the event. We have a few openings for players, so jump in. Uh, I am shocked at some of the games that still have uh, spots open so please do check it out there are a bunch of amazing games that are set to play all kinds of different indie uh, and small press rpgs that will be set in various eras of the star wars very exciting but that's all of that and this is what we're playing today fellowship this is the 10th play of fellowship this calendar year for me uh, which is exciting because of other reasons, but exciting because last session I felt like was the first time I really had my feet under me and and we were, I was starting to gain a little bit of fluency with the system, playing with Tyler and, and you guys, but mostly Tyler, let's be honest, hmm. uh, has been super helpful for me to get a vibe for the flow of uh, fellowship. We must let the uh, the spice flow or I wait, no, wrong 70s sci-fi for what we're playing let's go around the horn and have folks uh we're gonna we're gonna end with greg who was uh sir not appearing in this film last session so we'll start with cody cody introduce yourself and tell us about your character yeah, what's up? I'm Cody. I use the he, him pronouns. I play Oron the Jedi, also he, him. He uh, is the the elf playbook in fellowship uh with a couple moves uh plucked from the lantern both of which are very jedi like he uh what do you need to know about Oran? i mean he, his agendas you know what i should go over the agendas because i forget those every time and i know we're supposed to play towards our agendas um his agenda is eternal patience play the long game you have all the time in the world so act like it uh he hasn't been doing that lately and that's that's going to cause him troubles um he also is seeking out salvation seeking out his own peace of mind and uh, I believe there was also a fourth, a, a, another agenda. I think that was salvation. Everybody else just has the one agenda. Anyways, uh, yeah, Oran's, uh, you know, he, he's conflicted, right? They're just in a night, a night brother uh, fortress led by Talon Marcos, his, his, his former brother of the Jedi Order. And Oran's would be, or perchance former at this point, who knows, apprentice, Darren Von Warlock, uh, seemed to turn to the dark. So we'll see the fallout of that shortly. Indeed we shall. Thank you so much. Next up is Steven. Hi, my name is Steven. My pronouns are he, him. I'm playing Nanta the Ewok, whose pronouns are also he, him. Nanta uh, is uh, mischievous. And um, so the agenda is shake things up when people ignore or underestimate you. Um, and uh, jumps in to do crazy things, hides around... Um, and uh likes to eat feeds people 
Um, I think he's the ship's chef. Um, so he's always gnawing on like a little piece of jerky or something like that from his pouch. Lovely. Uh, and then, Kay, if you could introduce yourself and tell us about your character. Yeah, hi, I'm Kay, the Shinle Variety, and I'm playing Darren Von Vorlock. He, him, he is our heir. He is, you know, a leader ruler of a group of people which were uh, forgotten lands. So it was this planet that wasn't known until Zinj recently kind of came in and messed things up. In addition to the traditional uh, agendas, he has judge, jury, and executioner. Make them pay for their crimes, which I've been doing quite a bit lately. Uh, definitely pulling all of those spots for us. Uh, currently found himself caught between uh, the different sides of the stillness, the force, the light, whatever you feel like calling it. And he's been making some choices and, and losing bonds kind of left and right here with different people. It's been arduous. Oh, and he has the light whip now. Best car blade and the light whip. Getting it going. Yeah, sword whip style. It's, uh, it's very like, you know, soul forge, soul. What's soul that? caliber. Soul caliber. Thank you, Greg. That's what I need. And Greg. You have to say it in that voice. But I <laughs> do. Soul caliber. Thank you. Uh, it's the fighting game that, that I adore. Greg, if you could introduce yourself and tell us about your character, and we will discover what happened to them. Uh, uh, just a brief note, Rich, if you ever want to run a just a lore, incoherent game of Soul Calibur based some RPG, I'm here for it. Anyways, same. Yeah, I'm anyways, Greg. Continue. Fight second edition. <laughs> Five second weirdness. Um, Greg, he, him pronouns. I'm playing Zop Books. Also, he, him pronouns. Uh, Zop is a Rodian bounty hunter who has been in many Star Wars Saturday games and may be about to die. Because um, that seems to be how we start sessions recently, and I'm excited. Uh, he's a born rebel, so on top of telling of, of our people and improving the world around you, um, I am here to fix the system by any means necessary. Zop is a little maybe heavier on the second part of that statement, any means necessary. Uh, we last left Zop. Uh, right before Nanta exploded the facility underneath his feet. Uh, he had seen Darren um, become judge, jury, and executioner and seen a fire in Darren's eyes he had not seen since uh, perhaps Zop left, left his uh, lover long ago, a Jedi. So uh, he was beating feet towards uh this this moment and then there was an explosion um and there was like this uh you know looney tunes ewok shaped hole in said explosion um <laughs> i was going for more of a ewok silhouette in the so, green... yeah, it's like shadow on the rocks right yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly cool i have no idea why he's just the beakers decided to just come up and yawn over and over but uh oh, that's he, morning and it's beaker time it's not in any way morning here. Um, so here, there you go, buddy. Just just lay there and stare at the green light. Okay. Greg, for Zob, how does, remind us, how does Zop normally communicate with little Falkeen? Like, this thing that he carries around on his person, one might say. Um the communication is not words. Mm -hmm. It's it's more like flashes of emotion. Um like uh like memories long forgotten and surfacing, mm -hmm. sometimes good and sometimes bad. That is delightful. I like that. That's cool. And then where does little Falkeen stay? Uh, for the most time, Zop likes to keep little Falkeen um away from his ears uh -huh. 
Uh, but it will it will occasionally curl up on one side. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, that's good. So you witnessed all of this chaos and bits of carnage. And then, Zop, you found yourself running. Um, you didn't intend to run. In fact, as you become aware, in the flashes of looking at the the Dathomirian landscape, the red, broken clay underneath your feet, you came through to that realization without regaining your wit or your ability to command your body. An emotion um, not your own amid the alert and concern is played to you and you know you, you know the touch of little Falkeen. Uh, it's an apology. As you flee the battle, you being a, a Rodian, there's no shame in that, right? Rodian culture, no big deal. It's wise. It's not a bad idea. It's not what Zop does. It's not what Zop does, though. And so you're probably feeling those those feelings when you hear the sound of a starship, a spaceship, pass overhead. And you're able to glance, glance up and you recognize it. Uh, it is uh, of Tapani design, one of the houses of the Tapani nobles. And that gives you a clue lands and again as if you were a marionette on a string you climb up to the small plateau where the little ramp is lowering and you see we'll show the picture because this picture always amuses me uh, the picture of a certain woman who, I don't know if you dislike her, but she definitely hates you. She has her reasons. <laughs> we see this fine woman, a smile on her face, as you see, and she is holding a little device, the red light coming out of it, and you... As you get closer, you're able to hear a, a high-pitched, almost dog whistle type noise. She comes down to the plateau and uh, to the stand underneath the shadow of her Tapani starship. And then you see walking down as you arrive behind her carrying a large blaster rifle covered festooned with all various like trinkets and medals like the the trophies of past hunts is a Klaatuinian a member of the Klopta she presses the button and you start to feel your your body respond again and you hear a <laughs> sound is uh again on the side of your neck is little falcon who had deposited it itself inside you for a brief uncomfortable period is that Klatuinian uh jack's klopta it sure is Oh. He's got a big 
hoodoo eating grin on his face. And Lady Sinna Falkeen says, You ran, but you didn't run far enough, Zapus. I told you, I'll get my revenge for your murder of my father. A pair of binders are tossed by Jack Klopta, and they land at your feet. Put them on! What do you do? Sorry for dog barking. It's fine. Uh, Zop looks at the binders at his feet. And then looks at the, the shuttle in front of it's a is it a large ship? Is it oh like no a courier? No. Yeah. It's, okay. If you imagine the silvery Naboo ship that, yeah, in very the prequels, similar like similar to yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, she would. Um <laughs> mind you, her father dying means she inherited right. all of his stuff. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's definitely leveled <laughs> up in life because of your actions, but she doesn't see it that way. Revenge is all it is. Whatever else could it be? What could you possibly offer me? So you're just going to kill me? <laughs> no. No. Jackie will collect on your bounty. I hear... Your old order is going to throw you into a Sarlacc pit, whereupon you'll be feasted on for a thousand years. That seems ah. fitting. So kill me. Slowly, with panache, but yes, I guess. Kill you. Indirectly. Well. No. Oh, good. I was hoping you would say no. Um, I would like to keep them busy. Oh, okay, he would like to shoot you with yeah, his I'm scatter sure gun slash battle rifle. It's an over under. He's very excited about using this thing. I'm buying some time because I have a siege tank coming in from orbit. Yeah. That's true, you do. Uh, so it thinks you're going to act as a distraction by by uh, to buy some time here. So roll plus Caraggio. All right, that is a plus two. Zop's kind of got a little courage. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can. So I know there was a little bit of discussion about this last time. I can break a bond with Little Falkeen to roll with hope is that yes or... yes yes, yes. Okay. you break a bond the, the currency to mm -hmm. yeah to trade okay. it in to get that one roll is um it... sometimes it's just marking it breaking it is with the if the move specifically calls for it right right sorry 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 it's the marking breaking i, I yeah yeah that. yeah yes you mark oh, it okay darren had to do that yeah does marking mean i can't invoke it later is that you just need to replenish it, I believe. It's yes. just like and a... You can ah. fill your belly. Okay. Got it. I'm, I'm trying to feed into the, the other parts of the system a little bit better. Be a be a better Stephen. Um... We all want to be a little <laughs> better Stephen. Uh, so as part of this distraction, Zop grabs little Falkeen off his shoulder and throws it at Cinna. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> uh, so now I get to roll with hope. 3d6 plus 2. What could go wrong? Zap always rolls well. Oh, man. This is not at all true. But... That's a 12! That is a 12. I hereby see that that looks like a 12 in every way. Two fives plus 2 is a 12. And in our move reference, it says, on a 7 plus, you buy some time and their intention is all on you for now. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think because of the 12. Lady Sinifal yeah. Keen lets out uh, a, 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 a high-pitched scream of fright that belies the the domineering persona she was trying to project towards you. And we see just a hint of exactly how young she still is. Uh and the Klaatuinian, Jack, because you're, you're keeping him busy, he tries to stomp it, and she tries to shove him away, screaming at him, you idiot! Uh, and you you have bought yourself a moment. They are busy. Um, I, I imagine Jack gets off a couple shots. Um, Zop is now booking it. Zop's pretty good at running. Um, as fast as he can, down like a slot canyon, right? Because this is Dathomir. There's mm-hmm. just all sorts of weird fractures in the earth. Um, and so he he uh there's some shots, get off, he's booking it, dodging, doing the serpentine, um, and then <laughs> slides a little bit under some rocks and is like frantically trying to get down one of these like canyons, um, buying a little bit of time and all the time, like in his other ear is like just you know free rebellion droid talk binary as the the ship is flying in yeah and we see the diligence bar come again oh uh, it's not the diligence bar it's our, oh it's our, oh it flies um, our, i'm sorry i was thinking the diligence oh. spark maybe was carrying it does it fly on its own I, I yeah don't know. it's a gunship it's its own little fighter oh i thought it was a for some reason i thought it was one of the like Clone War era tank tank. So you're saying it's a gunship? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I mean, you guys defined it. It was your uh, fellowship. Uh, it has this siege tank. Do with as you please. Roger, roger. <laughs> Spikes and steel, heavily armored secret weapon. Okay, cool. So yeah, it is coming in hot. And I, I think I'd like to see... You effectively kept them busy, and now you're trying to to get away, right? Uh, or are you more like trying to keep them busy in hopes of uh, using the siege tank to overcome them? Yeah. So Zop's thinking here is that the siege ship is going to come in and at least remove their avenue of escape. Like if they get stranded on Dathomir, they're kind of dead. Um, so, uh, and then he's going to have the, the siege tank just drop bombs on, on the ship. Uh, but he needs to be in the canyon so he doesn't get killed when those bombs go off. Nice. Nice. Cool. So siege tank comes in. Let's go ahead and have you, uh, roll for the siege tank attempting to, uh, overcome this threat to you. So you okay. will be rolling what seems an appropriate stat. We could roll with cannon as a, as an offshoot of the, the diligent spark. Yeah, I do it. Roll to offshoot of diligent spark cannon, which is a one. Okay, and now we, we're doing overcome or? Oh, I don't think we qualify for finish them. But uh, yeah. do you think there's another move that you were angling towards? Uh, well, okay, hold on. Da, 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 da. The the siege tank is actually under rebellion, right? Uh, oh. siege tank is under uh earned, earned fellowship. fellowship, yes, and it has heavily armored spikes and steel, and secret weapon are its. Okay, um, I think we'll just roll with cannon then. Um, okay. So we're using the ship move. Weapons ready. Sounds good. All right. Roll plus cannon. You spend one oh, ammo from the ship's gear. So I think what you'll be doing, the ammo will be one of its um, tags. Heavily armored, secret weapons, spikes, and steel. Maybe secret weapon makes sense here because it's no longer secret you're firing on someone uh Uh, yeah sure all right so 
they spin one ammo, and you can either keep them busy, but they've already been kept busy, and that means that they are a vulnerable foe, foe so you can finish them with cannon. Let's see how this goes. Oh, dear God, your yeah, dice I got are hot. <laughs> uh, that is a seven plus. You destroy the obstacle in your path. I think... Uh, there are more scattergun shots. You hear the siege tank overhead, uh, and then whoop, whoop, and uh, and a very large explosion of flames lick out over the top of the plateau, um, and you you hear a very shrill scream of alarm. Sure, so there's the dead. just the blast of of air, yeah, over Zop. As the and then the here's he looks up and the the gunship is arcing back up towards where he was running from, right? Oh, it's yeah, it's headed towards yeah. the tower now. <clears throat> yep. So it, and... it's kind of like, hey, is that? Yes, it is. Roger, 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 Roger. Whomp, whomp. Continue on. And then they just go on towards the tower that you ran from. Uh, Zop will crawl back out of the slot canyon and survey the damage. What does he see? Nice. Uh, so you you climb up. Um, you see first the first thing when you come up and, and crest the plateau, there are bits of burning debris. The ship is slag. Uh, but the first thing that you see is that gun, the over under, uh, with Jack's hand still attached, but no other parts of Jack uh, attached to the hand. Zop picks it up and cleans it. Nice. And keeps going towards the the slagged ship. Is uh, is Cinna there? You do not find Cinna because I'm going with the Star Wars uh, don't see a body trope. Oh. <sighs> and then it's crawling along the sand up towards you and towards your boot is little Falkeen. What do you do? Uh... I let it crawl up my leg. It does. I open up a little pouch for it. Climbs into the pouch. And Zop closes the pouch. Mm. Uh, I'm going to use my shaman ways. And then we should probably cut away. Um, I actually use your shaman ways? What shaman yes. ways? Oh, okay. Uh, Seance. Like, yeah. yeah, I think maybe as you're doing your shaman ways, the what we cut away is you see the siege tank coming up, yeah, firing on the tower, uh, the grounds around the tower. Uh, you, the player, because you watched last session, know that that's it's... why it's collapsing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I just want to set that up. I want a connective yep. tissue. Yep. That. Yep. Uh, then we see the tower begin to fall. We cut to, we hear a titanic explosion, and we cut to the interior, dark, filled with dust. Uh, you hear, who is it that coughs first so that we know that they're alive? Please don't say R0. It's got to be R0, right? Yeah, you you said it, so it has to be R0. R0 is just, he, you know, it's just, he's high maintenance. He, he wants us to know that he's alive. <laughs> All right, it's not R0. Sorry, sorry, Rich. Uh, <clears throat> it'll be Oron. Oron coughs first. Am I muted? No, no. we heard you. We heard oh, you. Okay. Darren. Uh... Yeah. You remember taking the trophy, you remember destroying the enemy, and then everything turning and falling. 
you're underneath a heavy weight, perhaps a stone table has fallen on you, but it didn't crush you. Perhaps you can crawl out of it. It is pitch black here when you hear Oron cough. He's alive. What do you do? Wait, so sorry. He's on? What is he on? Alive? Oron? Oh, he's alive. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so you hear Oron cough. He must yeah. be alive. Yeah, I'm going to crawl over to him or, or, or walk. Am I walkable? Mm. I think you need to get out from underneath a stone table that is pinning your leg. Oh, shit, my leg. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm overcoming something real quick. Oh, that sounds good. It seems like. What, what uh, I... that is a choice, your choice of stat. What would you like to use? Um, it's either blood or courage, I guess. Like, That's I fair. Wish these had. Um, probably blood, I, I guess, because I'm not like in a rush, if that makes sense. Okay. I hate to always choose my best stat, but that just feels kind of like the most applicable. Cool. Uh, roll your Eight. best stat. Eight. Nice. Uh, with a seven plus on overcome, uh, you need to, or sorry, on a seven to nine, choose one. Pay a price to take the 10 plus result, which means you um, are able to overcome the obstacle um, or you create a temporary solution. Um, I'll go temporary solution. Awesome. I Damage, I don't... I'm damaging your blood. You hurt yourself okay. pulling yourself up. Yeah, I hurt myself. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, you you wound your leg, but through just sheer force, you're able to pull it. I think maybe you like twist an ankle, uh, and you're bleeding a little bit. That makes sense. Yeah, but you know where Oron is. Yeah, Oron, you hear something crawling towards you. It's probably one of those not living things. Um, Oron will he's you know he spent some time out in the galaxy uh, he's going to do the kind of um meditative mental quick check-in he's going to kind of take a deep breath and feel move his awareness across his body to see is anything broken is anything wounded can he still move his feet can he get up mm. checks in nice yeah you do that that little check fingers toes all that good stuff. You are in shockingly good condition, as if Providence, maybe the Force protected you. You're well. You're unharmed, Oron. Uh, I think Oron. However. Oh, there it is. <laughs> However. You don't feel the presence of Freya near you. No. Oron has a smile on his face as he thinks the force protects and then realizes what's missing. Um, and he stands and, and I, and he calls out, he's Freya, where are you? Are you, I, I want to reach out with the force and, and feel for her. Awesome. Let's cut to Nanta. Uh, Nanta when you awake, um, you feel the cool metal body of R zero on top of you. Um, you actually have enough space to like slide out from under her. It is pitch black. The thing that woke you is Oron calling for Freya. Um, I think I'm going to, so, I, you know, I feel down, make sure nothing's broken. Um, I can't see our zero, but obviously they're not moving at this point. 
Um, their lights, their eyes are not a light. Right. Um, and I think I'm going to uh, reach into my pack. What do I have that might be good? Um. Oh, okay. So I have uh, a uh, energy bow that I'm going to pull out. It's my weapon. Yeah. When I pull it, it's basically going to glow, right, with that energy bolt Perfect. so I can see what's going on. Awesome. Yeah. So you light up this space, this 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 empty space where all of you were in the room. The room is collapsed, but more of the tower perhaps is on top of you. And you see along R Zero's back is this metal, like an obsidian shard that was part of the structure. And it seems that she put herself over you to protect you from that. Um, no. You you also see Oron has stood, and you see Darren is... Prob I don't imagine Darren's a crawler, so I probably has stood and is limping over. Yeah, that makes sense. He's a limper, not a crawler. Yeah, I just didn't. I didn't want to dictate that you were you were crawling because that that I, I doesn't feel, like... feel Darren unless yeah, he has to. He does not exactly. Um, I'm gonna wave the bow around, looking. I specifically want to see, um, where is Taron? Ah, oh, yes, you want to see where Darren Malikos is. How? What was the final blow, Darren? How was Terran killed? Uh, was I who did the final blow? Is that correct? Did I actually uh, last, get to get last session, you were going to do the final blow, and I think Oren blocked it, but then the tower collapsed. But you right. guys had successfully finished them. I think you were going for blood. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, thank you for that little, little bit of reminder. I appreciate it. Uh yeah, so he is dead. How did he die? Oh, uh if do I get to answer that then or just that something you else? Do. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's gotta be that we just see these like sort of almost singes across his throat that go and kind of cover against that followed up by like the unmistakable cuts of a Beskar blade. So it's like he first got him with the whip and then finished him with the Beskar blade. Which means that in the tumult, Oron's attempt to stop you to help you come to your senses was not fruitful, that you yeah, he, continued he, to attack. Yeah, he, you know, he finished with that Beskar blade. You know, he like, he used the, um, the light whip to almost burn and draw Terran to him as they fell to then slit his throat. Do you see his sightless eyes staring into the abyss, Nanta? And I think I kind of chuff, you know, bye. And I go over um, to Oron and to Darren to make sure they're okay. Darren is limping a little bit, but I'll... Uh... Oh. I think I'm going to offer Darren some food and, like, see if I can't find, like, a crutch or a splint or something that might help with your ankle or your foot that's injured. nice yeah uh this is just brief because you know we're under a tower mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i think as you guys are moving over and you offer some food you hear sounds outside of this little cave alcove type area a little bit of dust comes down you hear a sound of rock scraping against rock you're not sure how long this will be stable. 
we should get moving. Not to take Darren out of the tower. I, I will follow shortly. I'm just, need I, I need to find Freya. She, she may have just passed through the world. I, I It's probably fine. Uh, I'm sure she's safe, but we need to be sure. Uh, where, Nanta, do you know where, where's Malikos? And I, I turn around and I point towards the dead body. I probably actually like kick a rock in that direction. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, um, I turn around and I point to R zero, who's down with like, you know, <laughs> rock sticking out of them. I'll go over to R zero and try and help get R zero out, either from out from under or if it's something that can be, you know, some of R zero is pulled uh, away. And you know some of it is left behind. Moran will try and help Nanta out. Ah, wait, wait, wait. There's someone missing. Um, wasn't Cherwall here? Cherdal. Cherdal, yeah. Cherdal. Uh, yes, you have not seen Cherdal, but you could perhaps search for him. Uh, I think Darren calls out in like Wookie. Like just like makes like this kind of like guttural. I'm not even gonna attempt it because I will butcher it. But it's just like a like a, a kind of like a, a where are you? Are you hurt? What is your location? Kind of like signal. Wow, there is no basic move for searching for things. That is fascinating. Rude. Am I overcoming my search for something? Is that is that look closely? I guess it would be. I look closely. Yeah, let's have you look closely. Roll plus sense. Sense. Oh. I have none of that. A very apt thing for this character. Yay! I mean, oh no. Still a seven. <laughs> nice. Still a seven. Awesome. And a seven plus. Ask three questions from the list. Holy cats and kittens. But one of them you'll find out the hard way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh. I guess is is something hidden like is 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 Chirdal hidden you know like does that mm. make sense you know like, yeah yeah that's that's a great way to interpret that question to ask where is uh Chirdal? and you hmm. yeah you do find Chirdal. uh he is underneath, like he is underneath the table that you crawled out from. Um, but evidently, it's it's you know one of those like huge tables, yeah. and he is more fully under the table. Uh, but when you shine a a glow rod or Perhaps your light whip, uh, you're able to see he is not fully crushed, but he is most definitely wounded, hurt very badly. Cool. Uh, I immediately uh, do. I need. Do I know? Do I need to get him out before I heal him, or should I heal him before I get him out? Well, I guess. Well, yeah. What will happen if I heal him before he gets out? If you heal him before he gets out, then he will be able to lend his strength to yours. To try to push this stone table off of him. Okay. Yeah, then I'm gonna uh, use a, a back to spray. Okay. And heal him up. It's around. Hey. What is what has happened? He says in Chiriwook, is that correct? Please help me, Cody. Yep. Treewook. Yes. Treewook. Uh I think I'll use, yeah, my final senses there. Uh what do my senses tell me? Something is wrong with Chirwook, not the wounds. 
He's not himself. Um, uh, the siege tower, the tower fell. Oh, so are you all right? Uh, let's get this off of you. And I'll go to get the table off of him with his assisted strength. Oh, yes. You may roll in hope because he will help you. Uh, if you want, overcome. like if you want to use uh, Cheerdal. Cheer yeah, why wouldn't I? Of course. He's my buddy. Something's wrong, but he's still my buddy. Of course. Uh, and then remind me if, I guess, again, this is probably blood again, but blood is damaged. So what is that? Oh, well, he would give you the ability to roll in hope, but what he's doing now is keeping you from rolling in despair, meaning you just in roll despair. normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2d6 plus 3, which, you know, not so bad. 11. Jeez. Awesome. Uh, cool. Yes, working together, the two of you are able to lift this table, and uh, and he is able to slide out from under it. And yeah, are you all? Yeah, as he slides out, and I take a look at him. Are you all right? Something, something, uh, and I like step closer. Like something seems off. He's staring at Taryn Malakos's body. We should take that with us, right? He moves over, takes a knee, reaches a hand out to Taryn's face. Oran, you were reaching out to the Force to try to find Freya, if I remember correctly. I, I didn't want yes. to ignore that, because I think that's interesting. Yeah, I... I, I Taryn, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I would like to, but I think I actually don't have my... Um, I don't have my keen senses or sense the arcane uh, abilities available to me. I'm I'm pretty beat up, but I believe I can mark. Um, yes, I have elder might. So when I wish to use an elder art that I've already marked, I can do so by marking a different elder art. So mm -hmm. I'm going to mark camouflage and then attempt to. Um, hmm. I guess I'll use keen senses again, ask a single question about your surroundings and immediately receive a truthful answer. Um, so Oran draws on the force a little bit, finds his center, lets out a breath, and then reaches out to see where is Freya, the Loth Wolf. Awesome. Your original read of the situation was the Freya is not here. When you sense the arcane, you feel her presence through the force. And you realize that she is near without being here. She has stepped into a pathway that is connected to this place through the force. Too bad she didn't pull you in. That would have been nice, but. She Maybe did. she did, and I and I fell back out. You know, I the force oh, yeah, provides. Sure. There you go. I uh, yeah, or on he uh he. he he lets out a kind of um I imagine there's a whistle that he knows to just kind of it's like a all's clear whistle. Um, whether or not Freya hears or feels it, it's kind of like it's 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 old habit, you know, that he he just okay, all right, lets out a whistle. He knows that uh Freya will either come back of her own accord or at the very least he's he's all right. Um with that covered, um he's going to then yeah approach ro and try and help ro um get them out of the rubble pull the rock from their their carapace whatever it is he needs to do attempt to do wait say again you were gonna what was the uh, the other half you were gonna attempt to do i'm sorry I just well, missed that it's okay uh ro was an ro pierced by some big rock Oh, R0. Yeah, sorry. RO, my brain went to other things. Yes. Reverse osmosis. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to R0 and I want to try and help R0. If not, uh, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. get out, be able to, or, you know, if not be able to function again, be able to get out so we can repair them uh, in cool. the future. With Nata moved, uh, you probably need some help because this, this obsidian shard on yeah. our zero's back is real freaking heavy um uh i'm gonna call on Chirdal, i guess i i see that uh Chirdal is being uh rescued um yeah. do you speak cheerwook i don't 
Um, I don't think I, I know. I don't speak. He understands basic. So yeah, he understands basic. So I'll I'll call over to him and you know, he's, he's familiar. Uh, he's one of the companions of the fellowship. So yeah, you're all, please. Can you help, help, help me with this? Um, we need to get our zero. We need to get out of here. Chirdal is doesn't look up when you call his name. He's still just staring at Taran Malakos's dead body. Like he's he's done. He kind of smoothed his cheek or some weird stuff or something. Uh, but now he's running his big furry fingers over the big gash where Tara Malikos's throat used to be. Uh, I take a cautious step forward and place my hand on Trudal's shoulder and attempt to kind of will the force to calm him or at the very least kind of bring him back. I see that he's staring and I, I, I whisper to Trudal, I see it too. I, I know what has happened. We still, we must help those of us who are still here and get out. Rich. Yes. As I'm watching this and I see, you know, Oran approach and, and just Cherdahl's acting real funky, like I've known him for most of my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to use my learned elder arts from or on my keen senses and ask a single question about your surroundings and immediately receive the truthful answer. What the fuck's going on with your doll? Oh, hey, that sounds good. It's no role, right? You just do the thing? Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I, I I tap into the stillness, the force, whatever, and I look at your doll in confusion. And he looks at you and there is not that protective nature that he has always shown towards you that not that fiercely loyal wookie he has been uh there's anger and you realize Terra Melikos is in control Is it in the sense that like he swapped himself? So like is Cherdal dead in Taron Malakos's body, and then, or is he just like you overtaken Cherdal? You have the feeling that Taron Malakos is in control, that Cherdal is being suppressed. Suppressed. Okay. Oh, immediately, uh, Darren's eyes kind of flash gold and red even more intensely, and the light whip kind of just like. Whoosh. And he's like, Oren, step away. Taryn Malakos, let go of my friend. I've killed you once, I'll do it again. Yes. Kill me. Go ahead. Kill me. Darren realizes how empty those words are because he can't because it's Chirdol as his friend. And then he reaches out to grab your neck. Let's cut to Zop. <laughs> <laughs> So Zop, you were uh, attempting to do something when when we got away. Yeah. Um, so Zop is standing amongst this, you know, smoking wreckage. Um, and and because this is this is heroic Star Wars, y'all. This is not Andor. He reaches out a bit through the Force. Hmm. Um. And 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 I, I would like. To invoke the the shaman ways of the Rodians, uh, and the seance. I love how much greater you have made the Rodians. Just you personally, the, the in Rodians Star Wars are so Hades, cool. Have, have taken them from Slimo <laughs> to Slimo, uh, Greedo to something kind of wonderful. Anyway, uh, yes, uh, I, would, I can ask a single question about anything and immediately receive two answers. One is true, one is false. You know not which is which. And I'm I if it's okay with you, Rich, I would happily pose this question to the whole group. Is that Oh, lovely. Okay. Is Cinefalkine truly dead? 
Oh, nice. You hear now two feel answers? free to mm-hmm. channel the answer, well, at least one of the answers through uh, a new NPC on the NPC tab. Uh, someone who has mentioned several times in Zop, but never actually named Accord Herond, my dead Jedi lover. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's badass. Wow, he looks so totally dope. I love this picture. Wow. Okay, so the question is you'll receive two answers. You don't know which one is right, which is yes, true. Which is true. What a weird thing to ask a yes no question of. Okay. Um mm-mm-mm. It's it's the way that yes or no. I, I know I'm getting a yes and a no. It's okay. Yeah, I think I'm we need to curious. give more than yes or no. Yes, yeah. Right. We need to give more than yes or no. Um and and the group can answer. So who is interested in the question again? Is Lady Sina Falkeen alive? Is that the question? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I feel like she's got to be alive. But I think she's, I think you've, uh, yeah, it's like you, you get this visage kind of of your lover. And he says, uh, the one who wishes you harm, my beloved. They are not dead, but they are gravely injured. They have lost half of themselves to your might, but the rest still continues on. I feel it. I fear that this may not be the only person who has lost half themselves. you fear and like there's like a a strong hand on your shoulder like you feel that weight are you concerned for yourself or your oh god i this is Kay's lack of star wars knowledge what is your group what do do they call your group you know like oh the the so zop it no it's okay it's totally something zop made up uh it's the tanwak clan that's the that's the the bounty hunting guild that zop belongs belonged Runs? Does it run? Yeah. Long story. No, no, no. So, so are are then are or like what would you consider Oran, Nanta, Darren, and and that group? Is that the Tanwan clan, or is that like what is? Um, no, no. That that that's my current fellowship. Okay, yeah. it's your fellowship. So, just, yeah. just, are you concerned for yourself or your fellowship? Uh, concerned for Darren. Youth is wasted on the young. He walks a dangerous path, as you once did. Then he will be lucky to have you beside him against that dangerous path to steer him towards which road winds best, just as you steered me. Perhaps my fate would have been different if you had entered my life sooner. And again, that like, the other hand kind of gets to your shoulder and there's that squeeze. Like you feel like his kind of like what would be his chest standing against your back. Sorry, Katie, did you break up there? Did you say something? Oh, more? sorry. Uh, so he would, you would have felt it. Yeah, no, he said perhaps, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you felt his chest against your back and that's sort of, you know, where he's left it for the moment. Gotcha. Okay. But yet there must be a, a second answer, a equally second answer. as compelling. Oh. Because or only maybe. one of the two is true. Yeah. Or maybe. No. Nope. Oh, someone no. else gets to Oh, that's someone else? Okay, someone cool, else. cool, cool. Yep. I like yep. that better. I like that better, yeah. Do you want to do it, Rich? I have an idea. I'm good with that. Uh... Yeah. You stop using these stolen elder arts uh, or ancient Rodian elder arts. Ancient Rodian ways. You realize that Lady Sina Falkeen is in the world between worlds. Ah, the deep swamp. Unconscious. Yes, the, 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 the deep swamp. swamp. The deep swamp. 
like unconscious on a loath wolf. This seems familiar. And the danger has not passed. Akwar. Uh, but the danger is no longer here. must deal with the currently living and then uh zoff will like make as much haste as he can towards this tower that's slowly collapsing with his friends in it nice i in fact maybe i'm calling in the ship uh-huh um, you can certainly do that yeah you know zoff can ride to the rescue he doesn't know anything about this this Terran Malakos Chernal hybrid nastiness. But he doesn't know anything about that. That's true. He doesn't. Uh, cool. So I think looking you at want our to skip basic forward moves, to that. Or... Yeah, let's let's skip forward to it, and then we'll see how how things come in. Uh, we'll cut back to Nanta. Uh, do you speak Cherrywick? I mean, in some in some legends, you're just a short Wookie. <laughs> um, I don't think so, but I I do recognize basic. Um, and I spent some time. I think, uh, one of my bonds is with Chirdal, yeah. and Chirdal likes my stories. Um, so I think he's picked up at least a little bit of. Uh, the language of the Ewoks. Yeah, of course. How else could he enjoy yeah. the story? Well, I can tell the story through something else, uh, through like R0, but uh, in this case, um, so I think what I do, we have two sources of light, I think, in this dark cavern. One is the light whip and one is the bow that I'm holding. Um, and I start to... Uh, you know, I release the bow so the light goes out, but it's, there's still a light from the whip, and I actually start to pull it um, in a strobe-like fashion to mm -hmm. cause a distraction. So it's harder for Turdall or uh, Malakos to see. And he's actually attacked Darren at this point, is that right? Uh-huh, yeah, he's putting his big massive furry pause around Darren's neck. Um, in that case, I actually need to go right in. I think I'm going to go in. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually fire my bow. The, the strong action comes from me shooting at, um, Malakos, but I think I'm deliberately not trying to hit to kill him, but to distract him so he will let Darren go. Ooh, neat. Uh, so I think you're trying to keep them busy. I think that's good. Yes. So let me roll that. That is a seven. Ooh, seven on keep them busy is fascinating. Uh, keep them busy is seven plus. You buy some time. Their attention is on you for now, but they will retaliate against you when the time is up. Yeah. Um, oh. I also, whenever I keep them busy and get a seven plus, I get to sting like a bee. Um, right. And I get two choices. Sting like a bee is um I'm going to look closely. Um tell me about the structure here of this cavern that we're stuck in. How could it hurt me and how could it help me? Awesome. Uh it is in the process because uh I, I think it's more dramatic this way. It is in the process of slowly starting to slide and how it can hurt you is collapsing on you which is imminent how can it help you um hmm. how can a collapsing pocket in a fallen tower help you 
I am not sure. You could use some of the falling pieces, the debris, to knock out your doll with a well-placed shot. There, how does that sound? Did that, did that feel like a way? Or positioning could... him in a particular place. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I, I'm i also going to say, uh, I get to speak softly. And um, um, I think the best speak softly question is, um, what should I be wary of when dealing with them? Oh, you're on mute. Darn, sorry. No, fuck. You should be worried that that Malikos wants Cheridal to die. Okay. Rich, am I understanding correctly that Cheridal has turned on Darren and spoken? Was it? Taryn Malikos was speaking in Shrewook, or was it a basic voice that was coming so out? Let, let me, or were we understanding it through the force? Yeah, no, that's a great question. So I don't think that Wookiees are capable of speaking basic, which Correct. doesn't make sense to me, but like is yeah. the established canon, and I want to stay by that. So he was speaking in Shrewook, which which maybe that's Darren how you know that Cherdal is not dead, because how would Taryn Malikos know how to make Cherry Wook sounds. Yeah. Does, that, does that work? Yeah. So in that case, Oron doesn't know that that is what's wrong with Cherdal. Um, so uh, he's Darren said something. Uh, yeah, oh, Darren. You're, you're right. You're right. Yes, you drew your light whip, and 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 uh, okay. So then, in that case, Nanta fires off a shot. Um, Oron, I think, holds up his hand and he calls out and he says, Jedi Knight Terran Malakos. I'm going to call on my bond with him. I see him more clearly. His bond with me is my brother's return. And I want to reveal some wisdom to Terran Malakos. And I say, why else has the Force brought us back together if not for me? to bring you back to the light. You have now a choice that you could rejoin the force in a way that our forefathers envisioned in the order. Your time has passed in this world, but you now go forward a pioneer of that next beyond. This is why I was brought here, Taryn. You don't need to fight it. Not anymore. You can let go. And the light will receive you. Let go, Terran Malikos. Rejoin the light. That's good. That's good. Please talk sense. And it sounds like... So I'm, I'm doing Reveal the With... Way, which is Ooh, a, a wisdom way, move right. through Lantern. Um, and so when I tell somebody what is best for them... You mean it, and they listen. Roll plus wisdom. Uh, I'm using the bond I have with Termalcos to give me hope on this roll. Oh man, that's so good! What a combo! C -c 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 combo. All right, we'll see if it's enough. Three d six plus one. All right. Oh boy. No. Uh, no five and five and a plus one gets me an eleven. <gasps> wow. Oh, that's so good. That is amazing. And a seven plus, they'll do as you ask to the best of their ability. You did it with wisdom. You appealed to, and I'm doing the talk sense, but you actually had your own move, right? Reveal yeah, it's it's like a juiced up version of talk sense, I believe. They will do as you say. Yeah, there we go. With, with hope. hope. With hope. I, I think he had grabbed hold of your throat, Darren, and you saw the fury in Taryn's eyes reflected through Cherdal. Nanta fired on him, and he turned and grabbed a, a broken stone uh, as if he was going to throw it at Nanta, and then Oron, you begin speaking. Uh, you talk sense to him. You offer him this opportunity. And he's finally 
my brother has returned. He's unable to reply to you in basic, but he drops the stone. And then the tower, this pocket starts to fall apart. And all of you see as the Cherdal's face, his expression begins to change, to fall from the angry sneer to uh, someone who has been freed. And there is this soft white glow behind him. And you see the like a hieroglyph of a wolf running in a circle and it grows faster and faster and the light grows as more stones begin to fall and then you all of you see this within the empty space a, a passage opens and there is a bridge of light with a loath wolf standing inside on the other side of this portal that suddenly opened as the pocket finally collapses around you you're going to be crushed if you do not do something what do you do step quickly everyone the way is clear I think Nanta, Nanta's the last one out as he's pulling on a R zero and then finally gives up and follows the rest of them. No. <laughs> as uh, the rocks fall and um, we cut outside to Zop, you you saw the way. You saw these two truths. The battle tank stopped firing on the tower after it fell. Um, what what are you doing, Zop? Uh, Zop falls to his knees because he doesn't make it in time. Um, and just watches the tower crumble. Little Falkeen tries to pour some happier emotions into you to make up for uh, earlier. Zop pulls the pouch off and throws it to the sand. Nice. <laughs> it skitters away for a bit. It will come back. It knows. <laughs> See, you need your own space for a bit. I'll be back. Uh, Zop screams out. Um, it's a, it's a. Zop is a, a, a studies Brodian opera. It's a loud, sad tone. Mm. Okay. I expect the ship is probably starting to land behind me. Um, who is still on that ship? Oh, uh, Versi. Our, our, our ping droid. Um, Your ping droid, Versi Diamond. Versi Diamond, yeah. yeah. I think we see it come, and she's calling over the comms. Where is Oron? Um, where is Prince Darren? I think they were inside. Dead. I think you're wrong. You have to be wrong. I would know if he were gone.
but your stillness? Something like that. Shit lands on another one of the plateaus. Actually, yeah, it lands on the ground in this valley, right? It barely fits. She comes down out of the ship. I'm going to dig them out. And she'll call to the, the Vorlons and the Ping Droid, and they're going to start trying to pull away stones. Uh, but Zop, you see, there are dozens of dead bodies here. Uh, you hear a report from the battle droids that uh, it took it took several shots to kill some of them things. They kept getting up, sir. Yeah, it was wild. Roger, Roger. Help! I mean, help we're dig. pretty good shots. Help dig. Come and land the their siege engine. And I don't know. Do we really get paid for this? What are you kidding? We don't get paid. So we, I I think, and it, it, before we cut, I think it's uh, we find our zero's body. Yes, I love that. That's the perfect connection, Biz. Like you move all the stuff, and you pull back, and the light reveals our zero's body. Our zero's body is crushed and banged and Ping says I can fix it so uh, Nanta Oron and Darren the three of you along Intradol. yes Intradol. I was coming to that <laughs> the three of you along with a still a little confused turtle, um, are standing on this bridge of light, and you see that there are other portals, other bridges. This bridge seems to go on. You're, it's as if you're standing in space, but... It's not cold. It's not warm. It's it's like perfectly room temperature. Oddly enough, there are no breezes. Darren, it reminds you a little bit of the stillness. <laughs> um, the holocron, which you keep so very close to you, is very warm against your skin. And. You also see that lying on the bridge is the unconscious form of a, a lovely young human woman with blonde hair. She looks peaceful. She's unconscious. Is, do we recognize her? I don't think you do. Okay. Thank you, Cody. Big ups. Freya sits, looks up at you. Her tail wags a little bit. I, uh, you know, lean down, give her some scratches, and I say, um, thank you, girl, for giving us that time. You knew what I needed to do, didn't you? You always know what needs to happen rubs her face against your your flank i think this is the first time oran's been here um and so he looks about i i want to look at these other portals these other bridges 
and this person uh, and, and see what's going on. I, I want to look closely at my surroundings. You should. All right. Move reference. Look closely. Plus sense. Of course, my sense is plus three. I get a 10. Um, nice. And in addition, with my look closely, I believe there's something extra. Uh, as uh, Maybe not. Maybe that doesn't matter. Um, so I would like to see. Tell me about these other portals. Will they help us? How could it hurt us? How could it help us? You have heard of the Virgin's Scatter, a place between all worlds that connects all of space and time. It is taxing to remain here. It is challenging and arduous to traverse this place. Can it help you? Yes. You can travel From any place to any place. But it is incredibly easy to become lost. And you have heard there are guardians. Um, the next question I would ask then is... Um, what will happen if we were to wait in this place, wait, wait right here for this portal to potentially open again, what will happen? Nothing. Okay. All right. Uh, I have my final question. Tell me about Cherdal. What are they doing? What will they do next? Uh, Cherdal is filled with shame for being too weak for his body as a vessel to have done harm to Prince Darren. He is so filled with regret for what he has done, he will look for any way to atone. With that information, I, I kind of stand up straighter, take another breath. We can't linger long. We need to find a new way out of here. I think Freya knows the way, but perhaps, Cherdal, we could use your scouting abilities. We need to find a way to safety. I think not looks up at you and says so we're dead now what <laughs> uh, uh or smiles and, and uh puts his hand on not shoulder we're not dead yet this this is a place freya walks often this is a this is a a world between worlds this is this is a special and i think i believe a sacred place and i think for the first time since all this kind of happens or on addresses darren do you not feel it darren it is still here it it is quite still and like all of the gold has sapped out of him like he was a a blazing emblem of just sheen i think during most of that fight and now it's just Darren in the stillness. It's hmm. quiet. And his, his hands are shaking a little. Let the stillness fill you, Darren. Let it bring you balance. Remember the breathing exercises I taught you. Darren. Don't listen to the fool. 
I will show you how we can leave this place. Trust me. Hmm. You watch as at first Darren had started to kind of listen to you, Oran, like he was doing those breathing exercises and it was calm. And then suddenly like his his breath quickens and his brows furrow and it's like he's lost the, the tempo of it. One hand kind of going to rest at his side near where the light whip has been holstered, but not touching it. It would do you well, Darren, not to listen to that voice you're hearing, especially not here. This place is not a place for that. That thing you carry. This is stillness. This is peace. That thing will not give it to you. I'm sure it already now whispers in your ear about power about purpose, about strength, about truth. Yeah, and I think- You know he has a child with Verzi. Oh my God. Um, And you see this, like at first Darren had like, as you guys are going back this truth. And Darren had like taken a moment and he was, he had like gone. And I feel like almost like, a, and let me know if this is okay or not. Like Freya had kind of come toward him and he had like leaned his head against her, like hand dipping into her soft kind of scruff, like finding some grounding. And then suddenly he jolts back as if he'd been hit. And he turns and he looks at you how long have you been lying to me? Both of you. Lying about what, Darren? You have a child with Percy? My advisor? I do. And I would very much like to see him again one day. We That's can't... Who... Talon Malikos said. He wasn't being rude to me. He was talking about you. Perhaps this force speaks to us all in different ways. And it is up for their individual interpretation. What he spoke was not the truth. You see that. He had fallen to the dark side of the force. He had listened to things that would seek control over him. He had allowed their influence to poison his mind away from the peace. I fear, Darren, that that is now what you are doing. But it is not lost yet. You still have control, of course. And if you wish to know about my son, all you need to know is that we were keeping him safe. You know better than most that this is a dangerous life. And Darren, Darren looks so torn. And there's, he, he really looks his like 18, you know, 18 years old here, you know, like he was a, you know, just felt like moments ago, he was a, a killer in battle. Uh, and now he's 18 and two of his most trusted people have been lying to him for years. And he looks shaken. Uh, you're muted, Rich. I love it. I mean, I feel bad for Darren, but also, <gasps> good job. Here, uh, the Nanta, the blonde woman, is stirring amid this very, very intense confrontation about stuff that maybe you know about, maybe you don't um she's starting to wake um i think i'm gonna uh so 
I look over, and I kind of, you know, think about it for a second, and then I turn back around. Um, I'm going to, I don't know if I can do this. Can I spend a bond to declare where one of the portals is? I will look it up later to see if what we just did is okay, but I'm going to say yes, because number one, it's interesting. Uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah. So the bond I'm going to spend is one with Zop. And if I understood correctly, Zop had reached out and saw Freya and the blonde woman, right? So mm -hmm. sort of had seen through a portal to a certain extent. Um, so I'm going to spend the bond there with Zop. Um, and then I'm going to turn around and Auron and Darren are discussing high level things. And I'm going to walk, you know, kind of uh, totter over to them. I'm going to kick both of them in the shin and say, and then point towards the, the, you know, in the direction of where we can see Zop you know, out on the plane with some droids. And then I'm going to take off in that direction. I think the blonde woman is in that direction, was like right next to the portal because Zop saw them. Right? And I guess I'll stop as I go through, you know, as I get up there and kind of, you know, make sure the blonde woman can follow us. We shouldn't leave her here. Maybe she was hidden in the tower with us. Whatever it fell. She she's slowly sitting up trying to figure out where she is. She looks amazed. Oron, uh Darren, do you follow Nanta trying to lead everyone out of here? Yeah, I think as soon as uh you know Oron's reaching out, he's trying to explain himself and then he gets the swift kick to the shit. Ah oh. <laughs> um yeah. yeah, yes, yes, Nanta, thank you. You found some you found some Darren, we can continue this discussion later. And Darren, you know, same as here. when you had your cry, Darren has his cry almost like at the same time from getting their knees kicked or their shins kicked. He doesn't respond and he just walks out the portal. So, uh, Zop, you, you find the body of R0. Uh, Ping says, I could fix her. And uh, then you hear a low when it you see this portal open and emerging from the portal is Nanta followed by Oron, Darren and Lady Cinefalkine who is trying to hang near the back. Oh, and Turtle. Yeah, who, like she's standing behind Turtle. Nanta, so Nanta runs up to Nanta runs up to Zop and like gives you a big hug, which is about waist high, right? Mm -hmm. Not uh tend to R zero and Zop will like point towards uh Prince he pulls Darren. Out a, yeah. Versi says Prince Darren. A Darren just goes to walk past her towards the, the ship. I think he even kind of like shoulder checks her a little. Oh, snap! <laughs> Oron approaches her uh, afterwards and, and gives her a big old hug and kiss uh, out, in the, out in front of everybody. And he just says, thank you for believing we'd still be here. Zop, it's good to see you're alive. Zop's eyes are locked on Cinna. She does not have uh, a little device in her hand. In fact, she has no weapons. Uh, and she stands near stands near Chardal. You, you need to protect me from that bounty hunter. You should put her back. Then We won't be doing one. that. Freya steps out and the portal snaps closed. We should all be getting away from here rather soon. 
Zop, I'm sure you can explain what this Not is. Not with her. Zop pulls out a blade. I'm gonna I I want to look at this woman. I've never seen her before. I don't know what this is. I want to gauge. I want to I want to look closely at her and see if uh Zop's behavior is warranted. Okay, great. You should. <laughs> I got an eight. Uh, Ooh, on a so, seven plus, you get to ask some questions, but one of, one of the answers. Uh... Ooh, I love this. Anyone can answer, but the Overlord has final say. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell me about this blonde woman. What are they doing? What will they do next? She's a monstrosity. Ooh, a monstrosity. She is death. She will kill you in your sleep. What is going You're on lucky. here? What do my senses tell me? I'll let someone else answer that. <laughs> Your senses tell you that there is some serious animosity from Zop towards her, but you are able to look a bit deeper and see that it is an enmity that is shared. Um, she is trying to hide it under a veneer of being helpless, uh, but she very much wants to kill Zop. Hurt, hurt Zop folks. My final question then is what will happen if I, if we leave her here behind? Does she look like the sort who can uh, take care of herself out in the middle of the Dathomiri wastes? Nope. Zop, put her in binders. We're not going to leave her to die out here in the wastes with those things rampaging about. I won't take that chance, Oron. She dies here. I think uh, you see Darren at like the like the boarding sort of bridge up. He's standing like at the entrance. And he looks to Zop and he looks to Oron. And he says... This is my ship. I will make the choice of who boards and who doesn't. Plead your case. And he looks to the woman. You may not know this, but Zop Boots is an assassin. He murdered my father. He's lying to you. Whatever he's told you about himself, it's a dirty lie. You may want to try a different tactic. Zop has proven invaluable to me and my team, and your time is dwindling. And he's sort of standing like very like tall, like that sort of regal like ness despite it all. Cinefalkeen is a spy. She is polluting your planet. I saw her in your palace. She has the ear of uh who did I see her with? Oh, uh she she has um oh crap, Ju Judas. Judas. Judas? She has the Judas. ear of Judas. She is responsible for the empire finding your planet. She needs to die. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's gay. That's gay. Um Shit. She <laughs> she definitely has a I am a Tapani noble. I've great to you of power with my hands. Prince Darren, I can help you. Every second she lives, Zinj wins. <laughs> so good. Um Darren starts to make his way down the, like he had been up getting ready to go to the up the ship and now he's like slowly making his way down. Sherdal says, I will break her neck for you. I alone get such honor. She's looking around. She looks to you, Nanta, the cute teddy bear creature who she doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Please, don't know what he's done to me, and I was only there to hurt Zop. I can help your people. 
the empire is in control. Judas is the ruler. Your sister has been imprisoned, as have all the other nobles. What? Only I know where they're being kept. More lies. Uh, Is, oh God, uh, where it fucking moves. Where are moves in this game? Trying to think. Because I don't think, look, I'm trying to think if like look closely or speak soft, like what would be better for, yeah, I guess speak softly because I, I am now getting up closer to her and I'm going to see if, or I want to know if she's telling me the truth here. Oh yeah, there's definitely all like, what should I be wary of when dealing with them? Yeah, I think there's- Yeah, speak stuff. softly. Yeah, speak softly. Okay, so I would like to uh, to roll with the wisdom. Please. Oh, you're so wise. I love this. A six. <laughs> Amazing. Uh oh. Uh, spaghetti. One of the yeah, you still ask questions, but one of their answers is false. But you believe it to be true. Yeah, right? but I, I believe think that's it. important. Yeah. What should I be wary of? Start. Yeah, the obvious. What should I be wary of when dealing with them? Uh, she is not lying. She is, um, connected, and as a Tapani noble. If her death is found, her house will be obliged to avenge her. Mm -hmm. uh, what can they tell us about the imprisonment of my family where they are? Uh, she is embellishing the story when she lies to tell you I know where they are being kept Matron Chevales trusts me I can help you to free them to free your whole world is that not worth some time and then I will leave you alone Zap though I will deal with him later I will not what, get on the ship if she does. What were they doing and what are they going to do next? Oh, uh, she was she was here to kill Zop and she's going to, um, while on the ship, try to find ways to kill Shop, Zop accidentally. It'll definitely be an accident for sure. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um. I think Darren has come up closer to her. She does that like thing where she opens herself up to you. She, she's pretty. She's doing the like, I'm going to stand close to you, baby. You're attracted to me and that will give me a chance here. Mercy. Remind a weary mind, what are the rules for treacherous action and judgments in Vora? Ooh, that's a great question. Rich, the, the, the overlord slash GM, do you imagine that Voron is uh, the kind of person, the kind of laws and structure to exile or to imprison or to exile? I was going to leave that to you. Oh, okay. Whatever I want. Um, yeah, whatever you want. I'm gonna give this. I mean, you. they're very, they're very much like the chill stillness college or to Cal college Cal California. How did college? They are. Become, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they I are I, a pretty peaceful people. Uh, they should be removed, so they are no longer a threat to the community. Exile. That it's a shame we're not on floor. And I wanna knock her unconscious if I can. Like just have like been like striding kind of behind her and just kind of like smack her in the back of the neck or something, just like knock her out. 
think that seems interestingly uh, expedient and, and doesn't make any of the problems go away. So sure. Yeah. <clears throat> she falls. Yeah. And he lets her hit the ground instead of catching her. Oh, nice. Zop. She's uh, not coming on the ship. She is being brought on. And I will entrust you with her excavating the truth from her mind and her information. Uh, so you hit her. She collapses. And you attempt to use your way of your air yes my liege right are you are you invoking this as you are the captain and i will do what you say uh yeah i think he meant it more like here i'm gonna give you kind of what you want but you need to do something for me first but if you want to play it off that move as if he's trying to like captain it up at liege noble air it up sure yeah um Sop grabs her momentarily and says the rules of the Tenwa clan apply in all places. And he just stabs her <laughs> right in the chest. Oh, Cody. <laughs> hey, you know, guys, it's tough out there. Uh <laughs> Uh, unless, unless I, I, I totally want to like open this up. If that would make it to the point where Zop is like just no longer a member of the fellowship, and that would be too much. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with not doing that, and we leave her here. Yeah, no, that wouldn't make uh, Zop. But listen, there's a lot of stuff going on in this fellowship right now. We're gonna have to have a nice family chat, uh, I think. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, that's that's. It, it is what you will do, Zop. So you do it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, an unconscious person, Zop, stabs her. And I think that's where we end the session with the reaction of like, what? And uh, and to be very clear, because this is important for a Destiny playbook I want to take, Zop feels nothing. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I love that. I know. So he cute. feels no satisfaction from this and no release of his need for revenge. Okay. Uh, real quick, because uh, I actually will not be here uh, next week because my family has changed the date of Passover dinner because my brother got a job. Uh, Congrats so, to your brother, but he, I hate him a little bit, even though I, I don't do know him too. because he just took you from it's, me. It's valid. Um, so I'll be traveling to New York, so I won't be able to be here in the morning. Uh, so I think we see this, and Darren looks not angry, but disappointed <laughs> as, if he, as if he has the right and we just see him storm onto the ship and we hear like the oh, you probably don't but i'm gonna say this because it makes k feel good uh you hear the slam of like a teenage bedroom door as he like locks Perfect. himself into the captain's quarters <laughs> yes excellent 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 being the engineer's like uh autopilot <laughs> that's great that's great. All right. Uh, <laughs> lovely, lovely stuff. Let's let's do some end of session uh, question and answer time, friends. Did you strike a blow against the Empire or its leaders? Yes. How so? Alamalikos is dead. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> I did that last session. <laughs> That's true. Well, did we get it last session? I, I think... Uh... I thought I we had we like did. we destroyed think, his power and his whole. Or I don't. Um, then we redeemed. Uh, we redeemed a member of the Empire. Then how about that? Or we killed one of their agents that helped set up uh, stuff. Sina, we killed one of their spy agents. So sad about that, you guys. She was going to be such a great little vicious thing on the ship. She's so cute looking, guys. <laughs> okay. You could have uh, been. A she's a lady to poorly influence Darren. She could have been. Somebody no, stabbed her in the heart. Yeah. Oh, so sad. Can you go through her pockets before you leave her? I can't do that because my character's gone, but someone else should. 
Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Did you protect the common folk from harm? No. Did actually no, even so. give you any common folk to protect. That's on me. I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you learn let's something new that. about the Empire and its plans? Yes. Uh, that's a definite yes. You learned that, hey, they just jumped like three steps in line to put Judas in charge as the regent. So that sucks. Four steps. Yeah. Four steps. That's right, because he's fit. But no, it, it's fine. It's fine. They jumped all the steps to Judas. Yeah. They imprisoned uh, everyone, according to Senna. And of course, she was never lying. But didn't, real quick, Asterix, didn't Matron drop her off at the rebellion uh, for Leofira? Oh, was Leofira like, was, yeah. yeah, escaped, right? Leofira okay, because okay, she was escaped. lying when she said Leofira was imprisoned. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was just K clarifying because it says imprisoned on her. No, that's a, good, that's a good question. I should change that. Thank you. Um, that was faulty memory. Uh, currently with the rebellion. And one is hiding and two are imprisoned. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool. Uh, did th that was that the third question? I think that was that was the questions. So you yeah, have one got... yes, no, two yeses, two yeses. Blow against the empire. Um, and something new about Empire. So do you want to refresh? Each player may refresh a piece of gear to its full value. Gear can also be, um, folks, you can choose a stat to heal. It does not have to be your own. Uh, or you can choose the Fellowship and Empire. Each choose somebody to level up. Which uh, two do you want? I would like to see Zop level up. Zop had his uh, solo adventure at the start, personally. That's that's where my my heart's going. I, who am I to argue with that? But <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Okay. Well, I choose uh, pick it. No, Oron. <laughs> Forced to choose Oron. Yep. Forced to choose Oron. I wouldn't what? mind being able to clear a damage stat, but that's. You're the only one hurt, though. But can't they refresh gear or something if they have any damage or anything or no? Uh, hold on. Let me, uh, that's a great question. Do, 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 do. If we can, that's also fine. No, no, no. It's, it's, it, um, what happened? Choose a stat to heal. I'd be fine gear. healing because then I could heal the, um, the bond damage or use on freya that's true yeah so you can you choose a stat or bond to heal so yeah if you guys want to go there then are there any uh, other companions that have been brutally hurt i don't think so or zero I, I, I narratively that's the part that i'm still just a little confused on is like i narratively hurt your your companion but I, you didn't harm the stat of the companion so so I took that as a hard move from uh, the collapse of a tower. Yes, it was. Which seemed completely legit. And mechanically, I think, you know, that means that R0 would be taken out. If I refreshed it, I would probably not replace R0 or repair R0. Oh, really? Well, I, I mean, R0, we have, we fictionally, Bing said, I can fix her. So... Yeah, yeah. You can if you wish, because I I like yeah, that yeah. companion, and also you got the cool background. I don't want you to have to do more Photoshop work, man. I mean, she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no big deal. But yeah, um, but I so the choices right now are level up, and then refresh. I'm sorry, not refresh. Uh, heal. Uh, level up and heal is what it sounds like the group is doing. Okay. So let me ask a question, um, a debate about that a little bit. Um, how else can you refresh gear other than these questions at the end? Fill your belly. Uh, fill your belly will also refresh gear? I thought so. Hold on, uh, I'm looking it might now. might force up. Um, I think for refreshing oh, gear, we need to just recover. healing. Yeah, it's just healing. Yeah. You need to do the, so I was uh, going to suggest. Yeah, go ahead. Does anyone else have gear? You got a tough choice. You guys are either going to do gear or heal. And the good news is that if you do gear, 
then you can fill your belly in the next session to heal, mm. but you can't yeah. intermediary a session refresh gear that I know of. So up to you guys, however you want to go. I don't have any gear that needs refreshing. My lightsaber is destroyed. So that's a, a whole different thing. Um, I think I I'll just shoot my wish really fast, which is that I I'm, I want us to have that downtime of filling our bellies and stuff and what like more expansive. So whatever actually makes that viable. So if it's like you need to have food to do that, I'm fine with Freya still having the bond marked to get there. Cause I think fill your belly also allows you to heal folks. Um, yes, it definitely does about healing. So I'm, I'm cool with that because I, I I'm wishing, I guess for the downtime. So it's like, we don't have to do the end of session heal because we're going to have that other chance to do so. Whereas between last time we were in the thick of it. So it's like, that might've been the only way to get that heal that was necessary. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, if it helps you tactically, I will say I'd like to start the next session with some downtime because that also fulfills Tyler's previous wish, which was to have some downtime with the PCs. So does that mean you guys are choosing to do gear this time or not? Oh, oh, okay. This makes it even more tough. I think the only character who has stats hurt are uh, is Darren and Katie's not going to be here next time. So can't participate in the fill your belly. Um, I don't care. It's fine. If you guys want, if you have gear you need refreshing, you want to do that, that's fine. We can let Darren stay damaged for a bit. It kind of yeah, I, I, I do kind being... of like Darren being damaged, to be honest. <laughs> um, here's a question: How do we un uncheck your Elder Arts moves, Cody? Those we need to do some downtime. I need to fill my belly. Um, yep. And uh, ah. I think that's it. I think it's just when I fill my yeah, belly. Yeah, refresh, can... refresh with oh. gear when you recover recover yes so more than just fill your belly i would wanted to do i want to have downtime to recover uh, yeah but... recover when the fellowship rests in a place of safety for over a week heal all of your stats oh, restock all of your gear over a week that might be but tough, i advance but like... my plans and heal yep damage <laughs> okay uh, so what did you guys finally choose? Level up and level up gear or heal? I say gear. Steven needs gear. I, I'm fine with I I personally I have like the idea I could of Darren. refresh for gear. That's yeah, I like Darren being a little and, okay, I will make spa space when you return. Oh yeah, it, it's I'll fine. I'll make space for you to be able to heal. I am only mildly bummed that I'm going to miss the fun downtime activities. Um, it's fine bummed. for the character to be damaged. Okay. It's kind of good for him to be damaged. TBH. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then you are choosing to refresh gear. Uh, Cody, you've given one of your wishes. Did you have any others? Downtime and conversations? Any other? Yeah, it was it was just downtime actions moves. Because I think we, we, were, we needed to do some fellowship moves or rebellion moves as well. So I kind of, and personally, if that means we can do a recover of, hey, we're in the fleet for a week. And we just kind of have scenes spread out over a week of us doing it. I'm like, I'm, I'm I in favor of that. That sounds really fun and interesting to me. Yeah. <laughs> Darren stays locked in the captain's quarters for a week. Darren, Darren broods for a week. That sounds believable. I am dropping into the, our uh, Slack conversation, a link to the fellowship moves you, you may choose from uh, for Dathomir because you freed them. Cool. Yeah. Boom. There you go. All right. Uh, then we've done all of the, the end of session stuff. I gave you the fellowship moves. I'm, I'm doing that in the Slack channel specifically so Kay can participate in the conversation. So please, if, if everybody get a chance over the next few days, take a look. If you don't, then next Saturday we'll get together and you'll make your decision. Uh, and that's okay, too. You know, I I don't love giving homework, but it's I like homework. Sorry, what was the homework? I was distracted by something else. I dropped into our Slack convo the Google Doc with the fellowship moves you have access to choose from for having free Dathomir. Ah, okay, lovely. Thank you. 
cool. I was trying to figure out if there were any implications to me becoming a threat to the world. And I know we're we're now at overtime, but it's okay. We're 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 overtime. Let's do wishes real quick. Uh Cody, thank you for your wishes. Recover, rebellion moves, uh, downtime conversations, blah. Kate, do you have any wishes? Uh yes. I Cody, you, you you track? Yep. Thank you, sir. Um yeah, I think my wish is just kind of to see some of the the fallout. Uh and also I guess, yeah, I guess I don't have a direct wish. I lied. Uh, cause I'm not going to be here next week. So I'm just like excited to kind of watch that taping and think of things that, but, Oh, here's my wish, Rich. Uh, we should maybe do a little texting. Cause while he's by himself, there is a holocron in the room with him. And he's no. feeling, you know, yeah, there's a wish. Okay. Thank you. Kay. That's great. I'm my brooding teenager is holocron. Uh, not at all problem. Greg or Steven, who'd like to go next with wishes? Yeah, I'll go. Um, so one is, uh, I think Cody mentioned uh, we need to do the bookkeeping stuff for at the end, and you drop the stuff into the Slack. That was one. And the other one is, um, I'd like to figure out the hero move unbroken which is hope you have hope because that seems to give you hope all the time versus yeah. um maybe we need to put some limits on that and we should talk about it uh, we don't have to do that now we yeah, can just yeah, think yeah, about yeah. it maybe no it's a good it's a good point it's a good point i'm very very confused by it because it just says you have hope that's um, literally what it says i so. did a search I did a search and found somebody on RPG Net that come in and said, "It sounds like that's all the time because that's the only sentence that's vague." I'm like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, that's maybe maybe talk to Tyler." It's very vague. Yeah. Like the so Cody, I, I was actually your looking. Way. I was looking at Hero for a moment because I was looking through Destiny Playbooks. It's actually one of the first ones that's that's listed, um, uh, in the books and. I read it both ways as both like you can get that as mechanic, but also just like a fictional positioning. You actually have hope like you are not. You cannot be broken down by the machinations of the Empire, which was interesting. Um, uh, wishes on mine. I, I, I believe Cody expressed this earlier. Uh, I, I would love to have maybe this is how we get to Zygeria, like the big battle um i would love to see that kind of scene um we had a bit of it with dathomir it was very good uh but i want to see that with like the rebellion moves and like an actual you know we're the we're the smell special operations group of the rebellion i want to see the the troops landing and the yeah i think that would be cool too um because we're finally maybe we've got the up and up on zinge now maybe i don't know taren balcos doesn't really seem to be dead um <laughs> uh let's see any other wishes sorry steven did you have more wishes i kind of jumped in there oh no not at okay. all huh. um and uh i think that's it that's all i have right now okay thank you uh, uh so greg greg you went last with wishes you could go first with stars uh so many stars uh uh, Kay, I love that Darren is, uh, I was thinking through this, like Oran is kind of like the Obi-Wan and Darren is kind of Luke, but now Darren's also kind of like, uh, what's Lowe. his name from Rebels, uh, you know, getting all Ezra, emotional. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, it's just, it's so much fun. Um, I, I loved having the scene with, uh, with my, my, my long dead Jedi lover, talking about you with you okay mm -hmm. that was so good um or on I, I love that uh all the things with freya freya is so cool uh it's also a starter rich pulling in the world between worlds Nanta just kicking them in the shins within the world between worlds being like come on shin world let's go um <laughs> it stops out there um i love that uh just a, a great session overall uh i'm so sad that Kay won't be here next week. Me too. Well, we will. Very we will, sad. 
we will be just as you know bad and dangerous and uh, evil to our, ourselves as without you, Darren. So. <laughs> Actually, the most lovely, beautiful session that happens. Like everything's so peaceful because they're there. <laughs> Each of this great, relaxing week. <laughs> Turns out you were the problem after all, after Prince all. Darren. Uh, Steven, did you have any stars? Yeah, yeah. Um, one of them. So, Cody, the speech that you gave, um, to Malikos was fantastic, and mm-hmm. I've noticed you're really, really good at those. The, those are very awe inspiring during the game. I really like that. Um, Kay, Kay's turning, you know, Darren's turning towards the dark side. And, you know, I'm starting to think, oh shit, is like Kay's uh, destiny path the traitor? Is, is Darren going to be the traitor? Ooh, that's, that's super interesting. Um, and then Zop, you know, I didn't expect Little Falcon that whole you know uh update so rich you know kudos about throwing something that was unexpected and then just getting to see zop's badassery on screen was amazing yeah was pretty awesome cool thanks steven uh kay did you have any stars of course i do rich of course i do i always have stars you know this uh first of all starting you rich uh, I love the the left field. Uh, he has a son with Versi Diamond. Like what a oh, juicy, like that. That perfect. Yeah, that was such a good like time to bring that up, and especially with what Malico said in last session and that moment where he was leaning more towards Oron than the Holocron, and the Holocron just knew where to hit that like damage. Uh, was so good, so wonderful. Uh, Greg. Having that conversation as your former Jedi lover about Darren was great. Super fun. Loved that. Um, Also really liked, uh, and I noticed this funnily enough this morning when I was looking when we first started that, that in red, yeah, you get to ignore yes, my liege. And so that kind of coming up in that moment at the end was such a chef kiss. I was like, Oh, what's this? It's in red. Oh. And then when you brought it up, I was like, yes, we love when we can pull in the mechanics and still do our cool storytelling. So that was great. Steven, this has already been mentioned, Nanta kicking people on the shins, chef kiss. Uh, Nanta having that kind of turtle bond in that moment was also great. But also like the heartbreak of Nanta like trying to dig R0 out and just not not getting it was so good. I love it. I feel like, again, you you do so much in small increments with this character and it's so great and it's always impactful. And I really love that. Like it's just moments are just so poignant. Uh, oh, Cody, <laughs> you want so bad to help and to lead Darren in the light. And it's so wonderful. Like you're you're so expressive and it's so good. And then just like the moment when he hugs Versi after fucking Darren like shoulder checks her as he walks past is so good. And him trying to reach it out. Um, I am mutually bummed that we cannot have some weird father figure son talk during the downtime as we in our different positions, but it'll only, it'll only make it greater later when it does happen. Uh, but yeah, I, I love that. You know, we can't leave her and just, yeah, it was good. It was a great, great game. Good. It was good. Cody, bring us home. Yeah. yeah uh, Rich star for sure. all take being taken over by Terminator at the beginning. That's some sick dark side shit. And I love it. Um, absolutely ecstatic. When you brought the world between worlds into this, that blue, I was just like, this is the best day of my life. Uh, K stepping into Akor Zop's lover was huge. I thought that was such a cool thing really to cool. jump right into it and to peel back the layers of then, yeah, like what, what Greg already said to, to go over what's going on with Darren. That was awesome. Um, and, and huge ups to the, to you for the scene in the world between worlds. Uh, that was a great scene to have. Thank you for that. Uh, Steven spending the bond with Zop to locate a portal was genius. I wasn't sure how we were going to get out or what the play was. And, and so you found a way to mechanically kind of bring that all together. I just, I, I really like that. That was a, 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 a great move. Cause it, I, I worried that we could linger. I was like, Oh, we might just kind of get stuck in here. Cause we, it's such a tough thing to imagine. Uh, but you, you, you nailed it. And then Greg making K have to talk about Darren from another point of view, huge, <laughs> Good stuff. I that was that was that was so that was so great. A big biggest star to that scene because it was like, I I 
it's a it's a huge start of Kate for having played Darren this way this entire series of this back and forth, this back and forth, and this is difficult. And so getting to have Kay then voice another character speaking on it was yeah. I just thought I had the best time watching that. Yeah, um that also fun. a big start of calling the world between worlds the deep swamp. That was great. That was wild. I'm like, what? Oh, that's weird and awesome. We'll see it differently. It's great. Yeah, it was. No, it felt very Rodian. I love that. The deep swamp. Actually, need to write, I've started to write it down in some something interactive. Swamp. Uh, excellent game. Really enjoyed the session. Sad about Kay not joining us next week, but we will have Tyler back. So, you know, I, I one of these days, all of you will be together. Ooh, one of these days. I have one more wish that I have oh, yes. figured out. Uh, this is a weird wish because it involves me sort of but i'm not there i would love to see uh in the recording when i watch later uh an oran and chevelsa scene the just like the divorced parents what i think is best for our child vibes just like them talking them like you know like they each clearly have a different path for darren and clearly seem to both care about him quite a bit so like how fun would it be to have them because we 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 will inevitably get our you know one side of darren one side the other like moment and for them to have that discussion without him there beforehand seems pretty cool it's a good idea cool we'll try to make it happen uh, thank you all so much for playing. Thanks for anybody watching. At this point, we ran a good bit over, so sorry about that. We will stop the recording.